Well, I've unloaded and I'm just sitting in my lorry having a cup of tea and I'm just going through more uh, videos from this week to do a little vlog. And middle of the week we had a bit of a fire. We had uh, the cow on its side and uh, you can actually see Jake welding and you can see the flames flickering. And I stopped the video and then five seconds later it all caught fire and we had two fire extinguishers and a fire hose on it within, uh, we had it out within 30 seconds. But if you look carefully, you can just see the flames flickering in the background and we didn't notice at the time when I was filming it. We were lucky. Look who, look who we've got with us. This is Gary Linton, 18 years of driver. Hello. Uh, my old friend who helped me when all it started and he's come to see us in Melbourne tonight. What do you reckon, Gary? Very good racing, good track. Let's see how these pair get on the consolation. Yeah, we're out together now. Yeah. We both, we're both uh, mucked up in our heats. What happened to you? It's about. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, that was about payback last week at Kingsley. And then uh, he had a really good race with him and, uh, and then ended up spinning and going backwards. And I had a puncher. So, I oh, was doing good, went forwards, and then backwards. Try again. Yeah, all, all to try again. Good points on it. Yeah. Got that. Good a bit? Good a and this is the Grand National I decided to go out with a slipping uh, or stuck clutch around, stuck in second gear and this first lap I've come down the back straight here and I've just got spun round and now I didn't go over I don't know I'm on the inside here now look right on the inside there oh I'm getting pushed around by JJ oh took up my front left shock and rear wheel and oh I can't and I just managed to get across the, I was trying to get across the centre of clip Nigel and Run into everybody trying to get across the safety of the centre. What a disaster. Oh well. Luckily, I got 20 quid in my pocket. Let's open the bar. There you go. Right, it's Sunday morning and uh, we're in the yard and I'm going to get it off and clean it like I normally do on a Sunday morning. Aren't we, Darcy? And uh, have a look at the damage. It's uh, it's not good. Salts are squashed. My new side exhausts are squashed. The four link bars are gone. My caliper's gone. Look at the angle of that wheel. That's uh, not right. I hope it's just the wheel and not the axle because it's be a big job if it's the axle. Uh, it's just. Uh, Sunday mornings like this are horrible. Shock's gone. Stub axle's gone. Look at the angle of that wheel. And the clutch is stuck, it won't go in gear, and it was making a right racket as I came, as the tractor pushed me back as well, so I don't know what was wrong underneath. There's something wrong, wrong underneath as well. I'll get it off and have a look. Let's get it cleaned and get it put away. And uh, see what we can do. The next track's a damaged track. Bloody hell. <laughs> Just sort of shaking my head. Yeah, well, 
when the tractor was dragging me off, I could hear that noise there. Uh, at least I know now it's a caliper, so that's uh, uh, one thing. At least it's not another. it and I put it away and I come, I've come home for breakfast and it doesn't look good it's a right mess I'm wishing now I'm not bothered going out for that Grand National um, I know, week's over Jake's still there Jake's doing a disco there last night so he was there for today as well his, his mate Grant who's in the V8s today and uh, so I'm on my own today and we'll see how next week goes next week's supposed to be a damage tracker great after last night do I really want to go to Sheffield I'll think about it <laughs>